Woo. All right, there she is. This is uh, Sunday, what was it, 28th? Uh, it's uh, the end of the four day weekend. I got a lot done on the uh, 1941 Dodge uh, weapons carrier command car, I like to call it Oddball. Uh, I had some parts I'd ordered a few weeks ago, so I had things to do this weekend. And then it turned out I need to order some more parts. Kind of got stuck on Friday. Ordered it, Amazon had them here this morning. I was able to finish it, everything up. Uh, right now I'm just about done with what I overall plan was on the truck. Get it running, driving, safe. A uh, couple more things I'm thinking about doing to add to that. I got one thing I definitely need to do, but uh, let's spin around and show you what we did this last couple couple weekends. Cause my last video got taken down. Uh, I guess I had music in the background and it had one of those Steve Reich things from uh, eBay. No, eBay. YouTube. So, all right, let me uh, let me show. Uh, next week. All right. So, start off with the battery disconnect. I got that done last week. Uh, see the starter solenoid switch. I had to replace that. Um, let's see, I've added a fuse box. I ordered that on Friday. Because uh, everything I'm adding to it, it I, just, I don't want to tap into the original wires. I can't. So many wires have no power. I can't. I don't know what's working, what's not working. So what I did is I just, as long as the, the switch turns on the, the coil and fires up, headlights work, taillights work, that's all that matters. Uh, it's got a single wire alternator, so that's hooked right up here, so it's charging. Everything's good. So everything else I've added, I've added the, painted the radiator. I didn't like that aluminum look. Uh, let's see. I added this horn. Got that on there because couldn't figure out how to get the siren to work. Let me show you on that one. That was kind of a weird thing. I was trying to do some rewiring here, figuring out which wires work the brake lights. I got the brake light switch way right down there back up. And under here, there's a switch. Well, I had power and I started messing with it. It turns out that's the switch to the siren. The siren works way over here. So that works. Then I added a horn. <laughs> that works. Let's see. Uh, some of the big work I did this weekend was shortening down the steering column. I wanted to go shorter, give me a little more, uh, you know, bare muscle room. Plus, I want to make it removable. That way, I can take that off. This is going to be parked outside when it's not locked in the garage. You know, if I go somewhere. At least, you know, I mean, there's no key. There's no addition. So this is just a little deterrent. Plus I got the battery shut off. Um, because I had a new fuse box, I added a 50 amp switch here that turns on the fuse box. So like my bolt gauge, the tachometer, the horn, uh, USB charger, uh, hook it up, you know, so I do parades, I can run the cameras and stuff. All that's gonna be off the fuse box. Right now, even the brake lights are off the fuse box because I just don't have a, a good hot wire. Apparently the brakes only worked when the headlights were on originally. So, all right, so, uh, Let's see, I got to put out the 14 volts. It's running a little warm. I don't know if that's, I got to check on that. Maybe it's just the place of the gauge. And because on the back of the head on these uh, inline sixes. And of course the other one, it just, it was reading all over the place. So I don't know if it was not working or not. Putting out 40 pounds of oil pressure. Uh, no, that's about it. Tachometer's working. You know, kind of hit all this green. Nice aluminum steering wheel. For the quick release. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, screw that. All right, let's see. Uh, turn on the headlights here, real quick. Oh, uh, that was a choke. All right, so the headlights are working. I got to really readjust those front ones. But the headlights are on. Running lights right now on. That's a plus. Uh, let me go ahead and shut everything off. had to go through that carburetor again. The accelerator pump stopped working after my drive a couple weeks ago. Idle fine, but right off idle it just die. So um, I got it all taken apart. I uh, popped out one of the little aluminum plugs so I can get in there and really clean it out. So now it just runs like a top. Really good. Drove it around the neighborhood a little bit and uh, really runs great now. Uh, do gotta do something with that throwout bearing. It's making a lot of noise. 
And the one thing I'm thinking about doing is it's 200 bucks, but put the locking and locking hubs in the front. Right here, it really help it steer better. Because this thing is a pain to steer. But uh, that's about it for now. Like I say, I gotta bolt the seat down. That's the one thing I have I didn't get around to this weekend. Uh, put the Marine Corps flag on the antenna. That was been waiting on that. But uh, other than that, throw out bearing uh, and probably the unlocking hubs, and I will be done with it. And the windshield. I want to get that window out there. There's a place out in Riverside that did the my front windshield on my 37. Uh, really good shop out there. See if I can get a new piece of glass in that. Because you can't see through it at all. Well, you can, but not when the sun's hitting you. But uh, there it is. End of a four-day weekend. And got a lot accomplished. So, uh, don't know if I have anything to post next weekend. Next weekend, I think I'm going to put the... Uh, start working on the power windows on the back quarter panel here. And then I got to start building the back seat. But... I took some time off of this to put the differential in the back of this. I got a new third member posi unit that took a couple weekends to get done. So that's it for Oddball, my uh, 1941 Dodge uh, WC6 command car slash truck. So that's it for now. Hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving and simplify. Down and got my mail. Spent two days working on figuring out why this thing wouldn't run right and more debris goes in the carburetor. Oh. But I got a lot of other stuff done. Now it's running, it's running really good. I'm only in second gear right now. A little bouncy. But uh, finally got the carburetor straightened out. Got the steering wheel done. Oh, it's hard to turn on one hand. <laughs> Ooh, ain't gonna make it. All right, back up a little bit. This new steering wheel is great. It's seven, same size as the other one, as you can see. Oh man, but there is no power steering, and he almost got to be moving. No hit the truck. There we go. Right back where we started from. Almost. <laughs> 